Well, you can bet a lot of gay and lesbian couples are getting married across this country today. They are celebrating yesterday's historic 5-4 to four Supreme Court ruling legalizing same-sex marriage across this country. But it was clear from their opinions that there were sharp divisions among the justices. Justice Anthony Kennedy writing for the majority in part, quote, it would misunderstand these men and women to say they disrespect the idea of marriage. Their plea is that they do respect it, respect it so deeply that they seek to find its fulfillment for themselves. Their hope is not to be condemned to live in loneliness. Excluded from one of civilization's oldest institutions, they ask for equal dignity in the eyes of the law. The Constitution grants them that right. Chief Justice John Roberts writing in his dissent, quote, if you are among the many Americans of whatever sexual orientation who favor expanding same-sex marriage, by all means, celebrate today's decision. Celebrate the achievement of a desired goal. Celebrate the opportunity for a new expression of commitment to a partner. Celebrate the availability of new benefits. But do not celebrate the Constitution. It had nothing to do with it. Let's talk more about this. Joining me from Washington, Dr. David Anderson. He is the founder and the senior pastor of Bridgeway Community Church. Thank you for being with me, sir. Poppy, it's good to be with you. Thanks. I'd love to get your reaction to the high court's decision. Well, first of all, you mean congratulations to those who are celebrating uh, something new and progressive for them. Of course, as a spiritual leader of a church, there's always differing opinions, right? And so when it comes to legality, that's different than morality. So let's talk about one of the things that you wrote. Uh, you, you wrote in the wake of this decision, quote, love is the highest Christian value, and all of us are called to it regardless of our politics. Um, Absolutely. What did, what, what did you mean with that, and, and do you agree with the decision? Well, love is the highest Christian value, regardless of one's color, class, culture, or even their, their gender, right? And so we want to make sure that we stay at that level beyond the smaller disagreements that we might have. Even moral disagreements that we have or biblical disagreements we have, we still have to understand that you have to have grace and truth. But most of all, the number one value is love. So how do we love people who may have a different opinion or a different view of our morality? You've got to start with the way Jesus did it. And that is he serves them, he loves them, and he opens his arms to everyone. Will you be marrying gay couples? Now that I won't do because that uh, violates my convictions of the scriptures. And so I live in Maryland, right? My church is in Maryland, Bridgeway Community Church. So I met with Governor O'Malley right before uh, you know it went legal in Maryland. And I said, just make sure that I'm protected and that uh, religious freedoms are protected. And, and he did, so I'm okay with that. Uh, let's talk, you, I'm, I'm sure you're writing your sermon or it's written for tomorrow. And I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of questions to answer from congregants. Uh, maybe congregants who are struggling with that, who, who, who believe love is the highest Christian value, but might not agree with, with this court's decision. Uh, what are yeah. you going to say to them? What are you going to say to your congregation tomorrow? Well, here's the thing. I've already put my statement out, and uh, there are people in our church who have differing views, everything from the rainbow view to, well, hang on here, it's completely sin to even uh, uh, have uh, a, an attraction to the same sex. And so how, do you be a, how can I be a bridge builder in the midst of that? You've got to look at the scriptures clearly and what the Lord says, but remember the highest law is love and so i've already lost some church members just because of my statement part poppy really <laughs> really well, I, i'm interested in whether you know we are hearing from some who really oppose this vehemently so, so many support it too but some that oppose it are pushing for really the only thing that could potentially change this state by state which is a constitutional amendment to put the power back in the state's hands are you someone who wants to see that or are you saying look this is the law of the land now i may not agree with it but I'm not going to push to change the Constitution. Because there's a difference between legality and morality, I would not say, you know what, let's legislate morality. Listen, it's the, hmm. law, it's the law of the land. Guess what? You used to have to kill people because of adultery or uh, because of other moral uh, behaviors that you didn't agree with. We don't do that today. And so my goal is not to stop anyone who disagrees with my biblical views to not be able to enjoy the, the, the life that they want to live in a secular country. This is, not a real, this is not a Christian nation. It's a secular nation, right? And so people who are atheists, people who are from different religions, or people who are of my same faith, a Christian, but they don't even believe the same thing I believe, guess what? They should be able to live freely just like me. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. makes America beautiful, right?
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it is freedom uh, for everyone. Uh, David Anderson, so nice to have you on the program, doctor. Please come back. I'd love to come back. Thanks for having me. Have a great service tomorrow. Thank you.